Morning, Alex. Hi, Alex. You know, the thing is, I was looking through the statistics, um, and Extinction Rebellion, the countries are covered. Mm -hmm. I mean, so that's the UK, uh, uh, America, Canada, Italy, France, Australia, South Africa, Norway, Spain, Denmark, Netherlands, um, New Zealand, Germany, Belgium, Sw Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Look at that and think, actually, all apart from America, all pretty clean countries, yep. really. The biggest countries, the, the, the top five polluters, India, China, Russia, mm. Japan and America. Mm. Um, they're the ones that pollute the most at the greatest percentage, but actually not involved in this. We're not too bad. The UK... Um contribution is only about 1% globally. But that's not a reason for us to let this fall onto the shoulders of 12-year-olds when there's so much we could be yeah. doing every single day. We've got 1 million viewers out there who can make changes every single day. And why shouldn't we? We have to get it, this into our mentality so these habits, the bad habits we've got into, we get them out and we just change. So supermarkets, you always think, is a big one. Are yes. some supermarkets better than others? Well, yes, they are. And it depends if you're looking at ethical choices or environmental choices. Aldi for example, brilliant for sustainable fish, uh, Sainsbury's cruelty-free chicken. You know, you've got to really search online and find out what you're buying and where those choices can be made. The biggest difference you can make is do you drive to the supermarket twice a week or do you go once a fortnight? Because that is massive. If you're driving to the supermarket, go once a week, don't go twice a week. Go once a fortnight, don't go once every week. That drive to the supermarket is very significant. When you get in the supermarket, round the out door the outside aisles that's where the whole foods are that's where the less production costs and environment the cost of the environment has gone into it so look for those whole less distance ethically sourced foods. Look for things that aren't in plastic. Black plastic we know is really bad. You cannot Why recycle black plastic. Stuff in black plastic. I have no idea. It's probably cheaper to produce. This film on the top cannot be recycled at the moment. Of course the cardboard can. The film on the top cannot be recycled. If you put it in with your recycling, it ruins the whole bag. So we've got to just... Selling that is a complete yeah. difficulty but you look at consumer. it. You look at it and think that there must be a fortune to be made for one a company that yep. can come up with a way I to know. package that stuff yeah. without it causing the nightmare that black yep. which can't be recycled um, is going to cause and, film. and this film on the top which also can't be recycled yep. somebody should be it able to be invent like new something pack, yep. wouldn't it if somebody could so yeah. look what we're starting to do with satsumas it's a cardboard container you can't of do course. that with curry no you can't <laughs> you could try though but a lot of supermarkets are now introducing the refillable bring your own containers so search out those supermarkets if you can make choices of course don't take don't start buying plastic bags in the supermarkets there's no excuse for us not to be using our bag for lives now let's have a look in our homes it is unforgivable that we are still using single-use plastic. This is ridiculous. 13.5 billion uh, bottles are used in the UK every year. 13.5 mm. and 7.5 of them are, million of them, billion of them, sorry, are recycled. The rest yeah, not, just terrible, thrown away. It? That is ridiculous. It takes 450 years for this to break down into small pieces and it'll never, ever go. So using this is completely unforgivable. There are so many of this type of bottle around. This is a Chili's one from Skinny Dip, about £15. <laughs> this cup is not only a reusable cup, it's made from reusable cups. Mm. So it's made from used cups, so it's brilliant. And the Stojo one from Amazon at 9 99 These things are so accessible. It is unforgivable not to be taking them everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. Look at what you're throwing out in your house, because Trainers, we throw away 300 pairs of shoes in the UK. We used to only have two pairs of shoes each uh, a generation ago. Now we've got many, many. You're throwing away 300 pairs of shoes. These can be made and are made into tennis court surfaces, running track surfaces. Nike are reusing them. So, so where do you take them then? To like a... You can take them. If they're Nike ones, you can take them to Nike, but you can use drop-off points, recycling drop-off points for all clothes and shoes. They're positioned around your high streets. There's one... 500 yards from my front okay. door. Mm -hmm. Lots of them on the high street. Um, look at what you're buying. There are sustainable, ethically good brands out there. These Veja, Veja trainers, I'm not trendy enough to know how to pronounce it properly. Um, we saw them on Mega Markle's feet. So uncultivated rubber trees, uh, not in plantations, and, uh, you know, a good brand. These are expensive, they're 100, over £100 each. But there's lots of other, like, people tree brands, which yeah. are really good ethical brands. You can make those choices. 
But as far as diet is concerned, not, um, good for mm. the planet, also good for your size, your shape, your so, heart. Um, so eat less meat absolutely. Uh, and less have rubbish. Meat-free Monday. Yeah, exactly. Have eat a more fruit and veg. Exactly. Eat more fruit and veg. Cut down. The biggest thing you can do is transport. Cut down on those journeys. 60% of the car journeys we make in the UK are less than five miles. 60% mm. of them. In Hammersmith and Fulham, where we're based here, if every car travels five miles less in a week, that's not very much, is mm. it? That is 10 million miles less traffic on the roads in a year. That's crazy, isn't it? Isn't that nuts? And um, what about what you flush away? We know that wet wipes are a very Wet damaging. wipes are a no-no. Um, the average woman will use 11,000 disposable menstrual products in her lifetime. Tampons take longer than a, a woman's life to, to flush away, to de degrade. There are reusable applicators. First thought, you think, ugh. It's really, once you get your head round it, it's absolutely fine to keep in your handbag and it will save an awful lot. And here's a challenge. We've got a million viewers out there. If every single one of them, one in three people, are still running the tap while they clean their teeth, if every single one of our viewers out there today turns the tap off when they clean their teeth tonight and tomorrow morning, we will save over 8 million litres of water. Right, we can do that. Let's all period. do that. Should we do that? Yes, I think, and then let's do it for life. Definitely. I do I mean, it anyway. It's unnecessary, it. isn't it? Yeah, Completely. absolutely. Thank um, you. Thank you. Lots, lots, lots more. Thank you.